Electric vehicle technology is improving at an impressive rate in terms of the range and also charge time. But what if you could charge an electric vehicle in a matter of seconds? Oh, hey, sorry, sorry. Now this could be made possible using supercapacitors as they can be charged and discharged at very high rates with minimal long-term damage. In fact, they would work well in an electric dragster. This video is sponsored by Brilliant. The main chassis for the dragster will use a carbon fibre tube for high strength and low weight, as well as making it easy to mount various electronics to. A 3D printed a wheel hub with a tooth pulley on one side and fitted a rubber tyre to it. Then after inserting some bearings and a shaft, it could be clamped to the carbon fibre tube chassis and be driven by the motor using a belt. Then with a basic steering mechanism added to the front of the tube and a temporary lithium battery strapped to the top, it was time for a quick test on the wet patio. Which slightly lacked in grip, but made for some interesting slow-mo footage. The next step was to build a super capacitor bank, which consisted of 12 capacitors of 50 farads each, specifically two in parallel and six in series. The dragster can be powered by a minimum of 6.4 volts before the motor is cut out. Then by plugging in the lithium battery, it can be charged to 11 volts in literally seconds. Disconnecting the lithium battery allows the car to be powered purely from the energy stored in the supercapacitors. And you can see the voltage gradually decrease to 6.4 volts where the motor is cut out. I then 3D printed a body kit for it and attached a rear wing to give it more of a dragster look. This is supercapacitor charging. <laughs> Now we are fully charged. Oh no! <laughs> Where did the wheel go? The wheel. What? What conclusions? What did we learn today? Uh, I'm not very good at building cars, but supercapacitors are pretty cool. And that's about it. Hey! I came halfway around the world to film this video and you were just trying to wreck it. <laughs> it will spin. <laughs> so it's pretty obvious this car suffers from stability issues, as well as lacking in grip. But if controlled properly, it runs pretty well using the supercapacitors. It's really hard to steer at high speed. Uh, I think skills. I have better skill. I'm gonna. Drive. You reckon? Okay, go. Peter, what have you done? It's not my fault. Peter. Peter. I'm just scared that these are gonna explode at some point. They're not gonna explode. If you short they them, they'll explode. Yeah, if they short, they do. Give me a cut. Fact about. <laughs> oh. Go. You know how our normal hobby lipo values are rated in milliamp hours? Yeah. Do those things have a milliamp hour rating on the capacitors? Do they have that? They have a farad rating. Oh, what's that? Great question, Peter Shreeple. Most batteries have a voltage and amp hour rating, which when multiplied together, gives a rough estimate for the energy stored in watt hours. However, capacitors have a voltage and farad rating, which requires the following equation to estimate the energy stored in watt hours. Yes, that's correct. This lithium cell has the equivalent energy storage of nearly 180 of these capacitors. I then purchased a cheap radio controlled car from Walmart to test the range difference. And believe me, the quality definitely reflected the price. Usually you have like a variable throttle and it's just, it's just on, off. And so there's a single button or yeah. like a button in there. Yeah, there's like a push button on either end and you just go duck. Yuck. It's all or nothing, just bang bang. It's all or nothing. <laughs> so yeah. What a trash car. This cheap radio control car took 27 minutes to finally run out of juice, which seems very impressive to me for such a small lithium battery. However, its supplied USB charger took an hour and 51 minutes to charge. Granted, with a decent charger, it should be possible to safely charge in around 45 minutes. But how about replacing this battery with some super caps? Specifically, two in series and two in parallel, so they can be charged up to the same voltage as a small lithium battery. 
Good job, noob. These were then mounted to the roof of the car with the power wires running down into the compartment where the battery is supposed to go. Then I can connect my 10 amp power supply to fully charge the car in about 15 seconds. But what does this mean for the runtime? Well, after just 1 minute and 40 seconds, it was dead. Which, considering the four capacitors are far larger than the supplied lithium battery that lasted 27 minutes, the capacitors don't seem very practical. Now, I like to learn new things, such as can you charge an electric car in a matter of seconds? And sure, the information in this video could have been conveyed in a few short equations, but I find it far easier to understand when it's conveyed in an entertaining and interactive form. And this is exactly how Brilliant aims to educate you. Their interactive courses are excellent for understanding a wide range of topics, from classical mechanics to artificial neural networks. And because education isn't just about retaining information, they test your knowledge with a quiz as you work through each course. And if you get something incorrect, there's no need to worry, as they provide you with an explanation of any mistakes, in order to get your understanding back on track. So if you're looking to expand your knowledge and want to think like an engineer, then head over to brilliant.org forward slash Tom Stanton to sign up for free. And also the first 200 people that sign up via the link in the description down below will get 20% off a premium annual subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and go check out the link in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could leave a thumbs up down below. If you're new to my channel and want to see more similar projects to this, then please click subscribe down below. A huge, huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters over on patreon.com for making these projects possible. Thanks once again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.